out there in Atlanta, it's Chris from HLegacy.com and we are out doing some experimenting uh, with a little new uh, piece of equipment I got here. Uh, this weekend uh, we're doing, uh, or uh, you know, two Holly Horror Nights houses are opening, uh, as well as Universal has sort of decorated the park and given us some bars and stuff like that, uh, so that we can uh, celebrate, uh, you know, the Halloween season even without Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, there's uh, quite a lot of stuff out over here. There's uh, the Skeleton Bar, which is over by the Bamba. Uh, there's a new U-Rust area over by Gramercy Park. There's, uh, you know, quite a lot of stuff going on. I'm actually over in between, um, uh, I'm out in between Kong Fung's and also the uh, Border Schuster office here. Uh, it's a little bit quieter over here, so, uh, you know, as I try to experiment with this, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to kind of walk around and see what uh, what some of the uh, Halloween offerings are. Of course, the houses. I cannot get into the houses today. I'm not a premier pass holder, nor am I an employee. Uh, so I was not able to get the... Um, uh, I'm not able to get into a preview uh, for today, but I'm going to try to come out tomorrow. Of course, they're doing the virtual line systems for the houses. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but for now, I'll uh, catch you guys later. So over by the New York area, we have a little bit of a new uh, U-Rest area. I, have, I think it's because they're expecting a lot of people this weekend. <laughs> I don't know how permanent this is going to be, but, uh, but yeah, so we have a new U-Rest area uh, over by New York. Uh, kind of checking it out right next to what I call Bad Decision Land which is Gramercy Park, which is uh, the smoking area. So that's interesting, that's cool. So a new U.S. area. So now it really kind of feels like Horror Nights. Of course, we got our typical switchbacks over by the, uh, the Rip Ride Rocket stage here. Hollywood Bowl. This uh, today, of course, is the uh, premiere pass holder preview thingy. So there are people waiting in line. Um, employee preview, I believe, is a little bit later. So. So there's that, it does kind of feel a little bit like Horror Nights out here with this. May I say it is an absolute honor to be working with you, and if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate. All right, people, and action! So we're in uh, the skeleton bar here, and there is basically a walkthrough experience to get your food. Some cages. Uh, well, uh, okay, guys. So we just walked through the uh, the skeleton bar uh, experience thingy. Uh, sorry if there's a little bit of wind. Uh, I've tried to retrofit this thing so that the wind doesn't. Uh, you know, isn't too much of a problem, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, but yeah, so I'm actually in the U.S. area, so I'm gonna take off my my mask here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm still getting used to this thing. I'm trying to not use the auto settings of this, so uh, I'm really trying to use the um, you know the the main stuff, you know the the main 
uh, sort of settings for the camera and whatnot. So, uh, so there's that. So we just walked through the skeleton bar thingy. That was actually pretty cool. They have, you know, it's a bar, but uh, you know, they uh, sort of made it a little walkthrough experience. So that's kind of interesting. So you go through, uh, you know, different uh, different counters. Uh, there's two counters in there. Uh, you get drinks, you get food, or whatever. Uh, but they've made it like a little bit of an experience. So, so is that. It's a little bit of a, a sort of boot version of Horror Nights happening here. Uh, uh, so, so that's pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, so just kind of relaxing for a little bit over in the U.S. area. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm still kind of experimenting, getting used to the camera, seeing how it works. Uh, you know, really trying not to use the auto, the auto settings on the camera, really trying to uh, utilize uh, what this camera can do and, uh, you know, uh, sort of getting better at this. It's always weird for me to, to talk to myself in front of a camera, which is why I don't usually do this, but uh, I wanted to sort of get a dedicated video camera so I could shoot some video and stuff like that at the parks. Uh, so yeah, so it is what it is, but yeah, like I said, over in the U.S. area, uh, hopefully the wind sound uh, is not as bad. Uh, I tried, like I said, I tried to retrofit uh, some stuff here uh, so that, uh, you know, sounds pretty good. Get some pretty good audio, at least decent audio, uh, you know, because this camera has a pretty good microphone built in, but, you know, the wind can be a problem. But uh, so, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to walk around a little bit more, see what else they have, uh, have to offer, maybe go into the tribute store. I do kind of want to pick up the um, uh, 2005 map, uh, if that is still available. We'll see if it is still available. I, I, I kind of fear that it is not available, so uh, so we'll see. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. The DeLorean has made it. Hopefully it doesn't run out of fuel because I don't want to get stuck in the year 2020. Go back, Marty. Go back, Marty. Mm, some ducks. guys so over here in uh, back in bad decision land taking a bit of a break uh, so like I said I'm still trying to get used to uh, use this camera seeing how it works uh, really getting used to the focus uh, I'm really trying to uh, I, I'm, I'm a film guy so like my my Nikon uh, Ruby as I call her uh, because of her red color uh, she she takes some great photos uh, and I'm very proud of Ruby she's lost to me uh, at this point about uh, six years. Uh, we're not be getting rid of Ruby, but she needs a little bit of a bath. Uh, I got to get the sensor cleaned and stuff like that. Uh, but I really wanted to get a sort of uh, really compact camera to sort of uh, do videos in the park and do a little bit more vlogging and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I found this little nifty uh, Fantasy Fancy camera, so we'll see how that works. Uh, but I'm still getting used to stuff. I'm really trying to not use the auto settings because I hate auto settings on cameras. Uh, it's a little bit more work in post-production when you're trying to color correct stuff like that. But, uh, you know, hopefully this will work. But, uh, yeah, so I'm taking a rest and I think I'm going to head into the Tribute Store and try to find that uh, Halloween Horror Nights uh, 2005 uh, map. Uh, see if I can get a hold of that. Here's the map I'm looking for.
Thank you. Everybody here is in line with food. Thank you. I have successfully acquired the map. So. Walk into the Beetlejuice room, of course. You guys have all seen this already, but like I said, just testing out the camera, seeing what I can get away with. Food trucks going on over here. They've added, so you know, we normally have the Horror Nights tents, of course. They have drinks and food and your twisted caters and stuff. Current uh, situation over by Tooth Fairy. So check it out. All these uh, people, do you have reservations? Do you not have reservations? There's a lot of people just confused <laughs> walking up to these things. Here's the other food truck over here. What do we got here? We have... All the kind of items. Bottle soda, bottle of water. Electrified skin and guts. Fried chicken and funnel brains. Sounds disgusting. Go uh, double check the line here. See how that's going. Looks like there's a lot more people than there were before, so... Here is the current line for The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. So quite a lot of people in this line, which makes me nervous for tomorrow. So it is kind of a busy day here. Uh, I was out at uh, Hollywood Studios yesterday and it was positively packed. And this really makes me nervous for tomorrow. I'm trying to get a reservation for the virtual queue these two houses so I unfortunately cannot get here in the morning tomorrow so I probably won't be here until about one o'clock so that really like I said kind of makes me nervous they are open until 8 tomorrow so we'll see how that goes I have a feeling that if you're not here dark and early in the morning you're gonna be kind of screwed tomorrow all right gang so we're back over in bad decision land I did successfully get the uh, Terra Quintus uh, poster uh, you know, I already have the real map, <laughs> so, but I kind of wanted, uh, you know, the actual map from the event so that it has at home, uh, but I did kind of want to get my own, uh, this little uh, thing where it's kind of like the map is basically, uh, you know, it's a, a, a map of Terra Quintus, uh, like the real Terra Quintus, uh, not necessarily the park map, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I did kind of slow down on buying some merch uh, for this year because I wasn't exactly sure what Universal was going to be doing here, whether they were going to charge uh, to be able to go into the houses or not. So my hat uh, uh, really kind of hides my face, so I'm pointing that out. Uh, but yeah, so I did, was successfully able to get the map uh, and just kind of relaxing now in Bad Decision Land. I might go into uh, Finnegan's real quick uh, and get some Sprite. Uh, I'm still not able to drink any alcohol uh, since my, uh, I stopped drinking uh, when I had the vertigo attack. Uh, and then I, I really stopped uh, drinking when I had the uh, diverticulitis, so the, the rebirth of diverticulitis. So I haven't had a beer uh, or any kind of adult alcoholic beverage uh, in quite some time. Uh, I am kind of craving a beer, but I still cannot have any. Uh, but I do like to go into Finnegan's and uh, sort of support them. I do, we love the people in Finnegan's. People in Finnegan's are awesome. Uh, and it wouldn't kind of feel like Horror Nights without a visit to Finnegan's. So I will... Uh, I will be going into Finnegan's and getting my Sprite. Clear liquids only, so water, uh, and I've been drinking Sprites. I actually kind of don't like Sprites, but uh, because of the clear liquid thing, uh, and of course they've, they've started blasting the uh, New York music behind me, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Uh, but uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go into Finnegan's and get myself a Sprite, uh, and I might actually uh, leave for today because I'm gonna be uh, coming back out here tomorrow. Uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be here all day tomorrow, probably waiting to see if I'm able to get uh, into 
uh, a house. So uh, for now, I'll talk to you guys later. All right there, guys. Before I go, I just wanted to um, go around and show you what the current line situation is like out in front of Tooth Fairy. This is the current line for Tooth Fairy. It goes all the way down there. Tooth Fairy is all the way at the end there. That's the entrance. And then the back of the line goes all the way back by the Jimmy Fallon bathrooms. So, yeah, tomorrow is going to be ridiculous. Here's the current line for Bride. You see it's uh, socially distant, but uh, there's still a lot of people there. Tooth Fairy line seems to be the, the biggest problem right now. Just so y'all know, the quote unquote super secret entrance to the side of Universal is back open again. It was closed uh, during the pandemic or when they reopened after the pandemic. Well, during the pandemic when they reopened, I should say. They have this uh, scarecrow stock thing going on. Gonna curl up here. That is so cool.